Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have finally decided to do a review of the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paints. Now right now as I film this it is the 30th of September and it is the end of Stunner Week which is what Fenty Beauty have named this week where they released I think four additional Stunner Lip Paint shades. Now shades. Now she released, Rihanna released this shade um, I think it was last year um, around the time when the brand itself launched and I didn't do a review at the time just because it was one lipstick but since then and since she released these other shades one on like Monday one on like Wednesday one on like Thursday which I found actually really annoying because if you wanted to order it online you wanted to order one and in the UK it's only Harvey Nichols which is an upmarket department store which sells it they charge six pounds for shipping which is very extortionate however I just happened to be in Knightsbridge at the time which is where Harvey Nichols is based and I was able to go in store to pick up two additional shades. So I picked up the additional shades in the shade Unveil and Uncuffed. She's also released a black shade, which well, let's be honest, most of us are not going to wear, um, but maybe you will, it's up to you. And then there was a more nudie shade, which I just did not feel would match my skin tone as much. Um, I think for some people it may work, I mean she has shown swatches on all skin tones I think it's more down to personal preference more than anything else now the reason why I've decided to do this video today for you guys obviously is because I now have three all together and also to let you guys know the formula has changed now the first one this one which is called uncensored is a bright red which is such a beautiful wearable shade for all skin tones and the issue that a lot of people had was that even though this is marketed as a matte liquid lipstick it does not perform in that same kind of way that we expect matte liquid lipsticks to perform in that they dry down to a matte finish they don't really come off as in they're non-transferable sometimes a little bit comes off but not really as much as like a normal lipstick this one is very 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 liquidy and as soon as you apply it to your lips you wait a couple of minutes have a drink you will see a very obvious red mark on your glass it comes off pretty much throughout the day the good thing about this is no matter how much of it comes off it still stays red on the lips so I think that is one reason why some people have still continued to love it I'm not gonna lie I've worn this loads of times since I bought it more so because I love the color and also because of the fact that even though it does come off it still looks beautiful on the lips it's still very very comfortable because it doesn't dry down to a matte finish if anything it's got like a slight satiny sheen across it so when she decided to launch more shades I know a few people were like well I don't want the black because it might bleed because the other one has bled on me by the way it doesn't bleed on me but just uh, talking about other people and uh, because they didn't like the formula of the previous one now I can happily let you guys know don't know what they've done maybe they took people's comments and feedback into consideration the formula is completely different for these new ones than it is for the first one now the first one like I said was transferable these are not these perform now as proper matte liquid lipstick should so they dry down to a matte finish that they are slightly transferable but like for example the one I'm wearing right now is the new Too Faced Gingerbread Girl liquid lipstick if I go like that can you see just a slight edge has come off just a tiny bit as we would expect with a lot of MAC liquid lipsticks and these perform in the same kind of way in that they dry down matte they're not as runny as that one in that you would find it difficult also keeping within your lip line without making a complete mess I mean I still really do not like the applicator at all which is this weird round thing which is just odd and now I know it was created to make it easy to kind of go around your lip contours around the arches of your lips that's fine that bit is easy what about the rest I don't know about you guys but there's been many a times when I've gone around the edges and I've come off completely because this is round rather than it being long and tapered and also as somebody who has got a disability like me who finds things like look how I hold it 
the way that I hold things, I find it quite awkward. Now, that is still the same with these ones as well, unfortunately, in that I've also noticed, because I've got quite a few friends that own this lipstick too, and I've watched them apply it, and they do it very, very slowly, very carefully, and they still make mistakes. So I am personally not a fan of the doe foot applicator. I actually hate it, and I don't think I've ever used that word in regards to an applicator in my life, but that's just something that I just wanted to let you guys know. So in terms of whether or not you will like these, I think that you will actually love them. I love the colours that I bought. I think they look amazing. I think they'll look awesome on all skin tones. They're very wearable and they're just beautiful shades and they are matte. They don't have that same kind of finish as this one does. So I'm really personally happy that they have now changed the formula slightly. So let me just read to you what their claims are off of Fenty Beauty's website. So it says a weightless 12 hour liquid lipstick with a soft matte finish born in a range of head turning shades that look incredible on all skin tones. 12 hour liquid lipstick definitely for sure I've worn it from the first thing in the morning to the last thing in the evening and it's still there. It hasn't cracked, it hasn't faded, it doesn't feel uncomfortable like a lot of mattes do. So I think that despite the fact that this one was so runny they have changed the formula but only slightly so, because if they had changed it to the kind of formula that a lot of other matte liquid lipsticks have, by the end of the day, it can feel very uncomfortable and kind of like on your lips. And it says, blah, 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 won't feather, stays kissably smooth. In other words, it behaves so you don't have to. Well, um, I would say that it doesn't feather at all because it now dries down really nicely and doesn't move. I think for a lot of other people, depending on whether they had oily skin, dry skin, is dependent on how it performed on the lips because I've got combination skin and I found that it did not move outside the lip line. However, I was very careful as to how much I would apply. If I applied too much of this, it would definitely run. It has a soft matte pigment, which I now can agree and say that it does. So anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove this lipstick that I'm wearing and I'm going to swatch all three of them for you, even though you know what this one looks like, just cause it's here, we may as well. And I will swatch and show you the other two as well. So here are the two shades that I bought. This one is called Uncuffed and this one is called Unveil. Okay, so this is the first shade that you guys are quite familiar with in the shade Uncensored. It's a beautiful universal red shade which will go well and does go well with all skin tones it's a very true red it's not like it's too deep like a blood red and it's not like an orangey red either it sits nice in the middle of reds so i managed to actually get it to not go all over the place for a change but as you can see as it starts to dry it has a slight sheen to it but unfortunately it comes off quite a bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just wanted to show you guys just for the sake of the video. I know you guys are more interested in the other two ones, so I'm gonna remove this one now and show you the others. I just using petroleum jelly, this is like from Poundland, it costs a pound. Anything like that or an oil-based makeup remover removes all liquid lipsticks perfectly so that there is no staining left behind. So this is the shade Uncuffed, which is a beautiful rosy mauve shade. I absolutely love this shade. I think out of the three, this one is probably my favorite. Even as I apply it, I can feel the difference in consistency. Whereas this one is a lot more runny, a lot more liquidy. This one is slightly more thick, but this is how it applies, how it looks in person. I think it's gorgeous. I think so many of you will absolutely love this shade. Okay, so this is the shade called Unveil. It's a deep, dark chocolate brown. I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. Just like the other shades, I mean, none of the ones that I've purchased are ones that I dislike at all. I think that this is another shade that will look amazing on all skin tones. And I think that she's definitely released a lot of shades which are wearable for the 
autumn and winter months and I definitely think that next year she will probably release more brighter sort of shades which go more with the season that we happen to be in so I think that she's done a really nice kind of little here are a couple of shades let me know what you think as well so I think that this one is lovely and I think quite a lot of you will like this as well look at how pigmented it is it's gorgeous it's drying so I'm not going to touch it now and go hey everyone because it's still drying at the moment and I have managed to get it over on most of my teeth big lip problems yeah so that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like comment and subscribe just for reference in Fenty Beauty's foundation I tend to wear the shade 300 I've also got another shade but I can't remember which one that was because I tend to go for 300 more other than that um what else can I say my jumper my beautiful new jumper is from Zara earrings are from Zara this is Fenty obviously and that's it so are you going to get any of these have you since they've been released let me know below other than that I hope you guys are wonderful and great and I'll see you all in the next video bye